Hi there, this is Sharmin here. In this video, I'm going to teach you Pennsylvania Educator Certification Test that is Module 3 exercise. You just practice before your exam because you don't have much time to read the question and analyze because you need to practice and you need to do the exam and get and you will get that. So yeah, so let's get started. Module 2, question number 1. A teacher is planning instruction to promote four-year-olds development of skills related to Pennsylvania pre-K for learning standard about reading, analyzing, and interpreting text. With children at this developmental level, which of the following approaches to a read aloud activity would be most appropriate for the teacher to use to develop the children's conceptual understanding of fact and opinion? Answer is helping the children tell one thing they learn from a non-fiction text. Question number two. A fourth grade teacher would like to promote reluctant readers' independent reading. Which of the following teacher strategies is likely to be most effective in achieving this goal? Answer is engaging students in discussions about their interest and working with the library media specialist to locate appropriate level books on these these topics reluctant reader is a quite simply any student who doesn't show an interest in reading these students may actively resist reading mask uh, they are disliked by cloning around or misbehaving when asked to read become easily frustrated during reading or need to be exhausted into picking up a book question number three a third grade teacher regular um, regularly models for students how to paraphrase a portion of a text and how to pause and respond to questions that clarify or follow up on information presented in a text. These practices promote a student's literacy development primarily by answer is promoting their development, uh, promoting their development of self-monitoring skills that support reading and learning across the curriculum. Question number four, a uh, first grade teacher explains that he is going to read a story aloud. He wants students to consider how the story makes them feel. Afterward, he prompts the students to recall and discuss specific words and phrases the author used to evoke a particular feelings. This oral language activity supports a student's literacy development primarily by helping the students answer is develop an awareness of a story's tone question number five a kindergarten teacher has placed many signs around the classroom including single including simple right, written directions for example please hang up course level for objects for example clock teacher's chair during daily activities the teacher regularly points to and reads aloud relevant signs the teacher has also created a classroom a library filled with age appropriate books and has incorporated relevant signs and books into all the learning centers these strategies are most effective in addressing which of the following goals related to effective instruction in emergent literacy answer is creating a print rich environment question number six at the beginning of the school year a kindergarten establishes a variety variety of classroom roles that are rotate on a daily basis the rules include calendar helper and star of the day. The calendar helper identifies and announces the day of the week, the date and the day's weather with teacher support if needed. The star of the day shares an object 
talking briefly about the item and then answering three questions about it from classmates and mm -hmm. the teacher. Regularly performing these types of classroom roles directly benefits a students and margin literacy development primarily by enhancing the students. Answer is ability to use a range of expressive language skills. Question number seven. In keeping with Pennsylvania pre-K for learning standards in language arts, which of the following writing skills would be most appropriate to include in language arts instruction at the first grade level? revising writing by adding details or missing information question number eight a teacher delivering standards based literacy instruction grounded in scientific based uh, reading research is most likely to use the results of reading assessments for which of the following purposes answer is using ongoing informal assessments to continually plan and modify individual students reading goals and instruction question number nine a, a group of primary grade uh, primary grade teachers is a reviewing potential core instructional materials for teaching beginning reading skills the most important selection criteria for the student for the teachers to consider would be to ensure that the materials aligned with relevant state learning standards question number 10 which of the following words contains the di um diphthong diphthong is a ball diphthong is a sound made by combining two vowels specifically when it starts as one vowel sound and goes to another like the way and sound in oil question number 11 a pre-kindergarten teacher regularly writes students comments on chart paper during whole class discussions and re rears the comments to the class these practice supports young young children's emergent literacy development primarily by promoting their answer is awareness of the relationship between print and spoken language question number 12 a kindergarten teacher reads aloud a poem that contains alliteration in each line the teacher reads the poem twice each time emphasizing the alliteration on the third reading the teacher invites the children to repeat each line exactly as the teacher recited it this activity is most effective in promoting the children's development in which of the following areas of emergent literacy answer is phonological awareness question number 13 a third grade teacher is having difficulty reading words and syllables that contain complex letter combination which is affecting her comprehension of grade level text for example the student reads the word stretch as s t r e t c h and the word pledge as p l e d g u h which of the following intervention strategies is likely to be most effective in addressing these students reading difficulty and advancing her reading development answer is providing the student with instruction and practice decoding consonant clusters as a chunk alliteration alliteration means the act or process of altering something Question number 14. A second grade student frequently makes errors such as reading the words a tapped as a tapped, hoping as a hoping, and shines and shines, which one reads aloud. Which of the following approaches uh, to addressing the student's difficulty is likely to be most effective? Answer is providing the student with explicit review and 
practice reading and spelling CBCS words that contain reflectional endings. Question number 15. A second grade teacher is planning reading instruction at the beginning of the school year and would like to determine the entry level skills of individual students in key areas of reading. Which of the following types of assessments would be most appropriate for the teacher to use to assess entering students' decoding skills? Answer is an informal phonic inventory. Question number 16. Which of the following strategies would be most effective for a teacher to use as the introduction to a later, in, a later formation lesson for a group of kindergarten students, demonstrating the students how to form the target letter in the year while stating the motion and then repeating the process as the students imitate the teacher question number 17 a first grade teacher plans a multi-sensory inter intervention for a student using a procedure called sounds boxes in this activity the students plan uh, places tokens such as uh, pennies and into boxes drawn on a piece of paper while slowly saying the sounds in a word for example for the word fan the teacher would draw a horizontal rectangle and divide it into three boxes giving the student three tokens the the teacher would say the word slowly and place a token into a box as he or she says each new sound in the word this procedure is most likely designed to improve the student's ability to answer a segment words into phonemes. Question number 18. A kindergarten teacher is using direct instruction to teach new vocabulary to students. Which of the following strategies would best help students integrate the new words into their existing vocabulary answer is using the new words with students several times in different spoken context question number 19 a pre-kindergarten teacher helps students memorize a poem and recite it uh, chorally, chorally the teacher could best use this activity to build a foundation for which of the following literacy skills answer is prosodic reading Proceeding reading is a reading with expression, is widely considered to be one of the hallmarks of the achievement of reading fluency. Question number 20. A second grade teacher is beginning at integrated content area unit on farming. As an introduction to the unit, the teacher helps students brainstorm words related to the concept of farming guides students in creating a semantic map with the words this activity best illustrates a strategy targeting which of the following essential components of effective vocabulary instruction deepening and clarifying students knowledge of known words Question number 21. A third grade teacher has a student create a KWL chart prior to reading an informational text about fossils. This strategy is likely to promote a student's motivation and comprehension primarily in which of the following ways? 21. Answer is by helping students establish a purpose for reading the text prior to reading. Question number 22. A second grade teacher is planning to read aloud a story to the class and would like to use this activity to reinforce and build on a student's literacy, literally analysis skills. So which of the following strategies would likely be most appropriate and effective in achieving this goal at this grade level answer is guiding students to identify the main characters and major events in the story 
question number 23 a third grade teacher would like to monitor students progress in meeting reading fluency benchmarks which of the following assessment strategies would be most appropriate and effective for the student for the teacher to use for this purpose measuring students average rate and accuracy while they read aloud an unfamiliar grade level passage question number 24 a four, fourth grade teacher would like to promote a student's comprehension and critical analysis of literary uh, text by helping them draw more effective conclusions the teacher could best achieve this goal by providing the students with explicit instruction and guided practice in answer is seating evidence from a text to support their responses to the text question number 25 once a week a second grade teacher conduct a fluency check with uh, each student the teacher has that uh, has the student read aloud an unfamiliar appropriate level passes for one minute as the teacher notes errors on a separate copy of the passage the teacher calculates the number of words the student read correctly and during that minute the both teacher and the student maintain charge of the student's weekly progress this type of activity primarily focuses on which of the following aspects of reading fluency read so guys i hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video keep watching keep practicing and good luck your test thank you so much guys